Welcome to RP Gamepire. I'm David. I'm Julie. So now we're going to uh, continue our series of videos on Mythic Battles Pantheon. You may have seen the unboxing of 1.5. So here's the rule book for 1.5. We're going to play the scenario though from 1.0, the introductory scenario. So hopefully it still works. I mean, the differences between the regular rule book and the introductory scenario is that the scenario ends when two Amphalas are acquired by a divinity, by either Zeus, which you'll see here, here's Zeus, or by Julie's divinity, Ares. Ta -da -da. So I don't know if people who got the new core box, if it comes with an updated getting started or not, but we're going to do it anyway. And one thing that you'll notice, here's the original, <coughs> I'm sorry, the 1.5 uh, player aid. Right. But I downloaded it and using Adobe Acrobat, Acrobat? Uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro, <laughs> I revised it a little bit. So if anybody says, can you send me a copy of that? Well, I can't because I don't have the copyright to the uh, player aid. And because I modified it, I would have to ask permissions from Mythic right. Games to distribute that. But if you do notice any differences, it's because I added some additional notes to the uh, player aid that I was using the player aid and I'd have to look, what was that again? I had to look it up. So I added a couple more notes on the player's aid. So in general, the player's aid is useful. It just is missing a couple things on uh, the, uh, divine, the divine stones. Divinity? The divinity? Divinity stones or uh, but anyways, the umphalas. But uh, the reason why they're calling them the... I don't remember if it's Divine Stones. Oh, gosh, babe, I don't remember. Or, or yeah, I'll look it up in the index here. Hopefully the index is Divine Stones. Yeah, divine. I didn't have you it did right. have it right. Yeah, right. Good job. That's because they're coming out with the uh, Viking version and of supposedly an Egyptian version. So that's why they have the general description called Divine oh. Stones. Okay. And for this Greek one, they're called Umphalas. I don't remember what they're going to call the Viking ones and the Egyptian ones. Okay. All right, so... Here we are, we're going to play the introductory scenario from 1.0 using 1.5 rules. This should be okay, but uh, in the, let me know in the comments, <laughs> it's like, I have the 1.5 and they don't have that scenario. Well, I don't, you know, you just have to let me know if that's the case. <laughs> All right, so for those of you who are watching this for the first time, the uh, game ends, like I said, if either Zeus or Ares absorbs two Amphalas or if Zeus or Ares is killed, defeated. And uh, when he goes to set up with the 1.5 rules, uh, normally you have to start with all your troops on the map. But now only, I'm sorry, all your units on the map, at least in the introductory scenario. Mm -hmm. But now with the 1.5 rules, only your troop units start on the map and you get to ch decide which of your uh, starting areas they'll begin in. So if you notice here, I'm just using these markers to show the, the starting areas. Right here and right here right. for me. So I'm going to go first and I'm going to place my Spartans here. Okay. Actually, I'm going to place them here. Alrighty. And you'll notice for those of you who have the 1.5 and the 1.0, they included rocks. So these are 3D elements and the reason why they stopped uh, using these because they were hard to put together. I had to use glue dots to keep this together. Mm. So it's technically not part of the 1.5 core set, but I'm including it here so you know that these are rocks. And you'll see there's trees. And when you do setup, the number of trees you get is the number divided by two rounded up. So if there's a two here, well, maybe I should take off the picture picture. If there's a two here, you'll get one tree. And because there is a, uh, four. a four, you get two trees. And trees can help you uh, in combat. Uh, there's something else I was thinking. Oh, yeah. And the pillars, it's one per area. And they'll also help you in combat. So I'm going to start my Spartans here. Okay. And, Julie, where are you going to start your hoplites? I'm going to take my little hoplites. And I think I'm going to put them right here. Okay. Give me the... I just want to know what that zone is called again. Sure. In the rule book. Because I, I do want to refer it to the correct thing in the starting rules. Uh, 
They're all in the tech. Deployment room. area. So it's called a deployment area. Oh, okay. I just wanted to use that term correctly. All right, sure. so one thing we got to set up our decks. And how you set up your decks depends on what divinities and heroes and monsters that you have. Uh, or what troops that you have. So I'll, I'll go over mine first. Okay. So here I have is a, a Hydra. And you look here. Hydra will have four cards. Does not include any Art of War cards. And that's the monster symbol. Okay. So I have Hydra's four cards right here ready to put in my deck. Zeus starts out with four cards and two Art of War cards right here. And he has four cards. So here's Zeus's four cards. Here's Hydra's four cards. My Spartans, uh, there's three miniatures and three cards. And it's important to keep track of how many miniatures are, are left in your uh, troop, in your, in your uh, deployment. So here's my three Spartans. They must always stick together. Now, here is a rule that I could not figure out how to interpret. It's new for 1.5. Mm. It says that, and again, I'm going to read it, and I couldn't find it on Board Game Geek or on the Kickstarter. Somebody asked a question that hadn't been answered yet. Oh. So it says here for troops... And I gotta go to the main rule book. I'll find it quicker. And I'm gonna read it to you exactly. Okay. Okay. A troop unit is no longer complete, and there is only one miniature left of the troop, that troop's talents can no longer be used. So I'm gonna show it to you here. Now, why am I pointing this out? Because there's an interpretation here. Does that mean that if you lose a troop unit, you can't use your talents anymore? Or is it that you have to be down to one unit and you've lost some? So there is a, an interpretation, I mean, it has to be clarified. I'm not sure. So what in the 1.0 1 rules, if you lost one troop, you lost your talents. Oh. But that reads, you can be down to one unit and so I can be down to one Spartan yeah. and still use my talent of Mighty Throw and Guard. So maybe somebody can tell me in the description uh, if there is an official uh, clarification on that. Like I said, right, a couple of people, uh, at least one person is asked on Board Game Geek and one person is asked on a Kickstarter, and I don't have a ruling on that yet as the uh, time of this recording. Okay. And 1.0. It used to be you lose one, you lose your talents. Here it reads as if you if you get down basically to one to one troop unit. All right. All right. So here is my deck for. You see, I have my Spartans, Hydra, Zeus, my two Art of War cards for Zeus. So I shuffle those up. You also start out with three Art of, Art of War cards as part of your initial hand. So I shuffle these up and I draw three cards. So we're going to play this open so you can see what the options are. Let me uh, put these here for now. I'll move the Spartan card here. Okay. So here's my three cards. Start out with a Zeus and a Hydra and another Hydra. So I will not be able to move my Spartans unless I take a uh, leadership action that Zeus has or if I uh, take a maneuver action, which I'll explain. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at Julie's. Okay, here's my Aries. Okay, well, we're not looking at that right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have your three starting Art of War cards. Yep. All right, so Aries does not get any starting Art of War cards, but gets five Aries cards. Okay. Okay. Achilles gets four and two Art of War cards. And the Hoplites, according to this, there's five hoplites and gets three cards. So she's going to shuffle her deck up. Here's her starting three Art of War cards. And then she'll draw three. And that will be her starting hand. Okay. You know, let me shuffle up that more. That was not done very well. Okay, so I'll cut the deck now. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess it didn't matter. Didn't matter. All right, so you got a lot of Aries cards. Yeah. Which can, is, is not necessarily a bad thing. Go ahead and put your Aries right here. Okay. All right, so we set up our decks. We placed our, our units start on the map. They start out deployed according to 1.5. Now I'm going to be the lead player. So let's take a look at the, the options that I have as the lead player. So again, I have my starting hand here. If I look here at the turn sequence, I'm going to draw a card. So I'll do that right now. All right, I start out with another Hydra card. <laughs> now I can end my turn right now and draw another card and not do anything else, okay? Or I can activate one of the units. So I, can act, I can't activate my uh, Spartans because I don't have a Spartan card. I could use, again, I'm going to show you maneuvers here. When we played this the first time, we forgot about this. Yeah, we did. I could play an Art of War card, a one uh, Umphalos, which I don't have yet, because the only way you get those is, is if your god, your divinity, absorbs an Umphalos and you get that card. Or I can use two cards of a destroyed unit. In other words, so that your deck isn't clogged up with useless cards. You can use, I could use two of those. Uh, but see, my Hydra is not destroyed, so I can't use two of those. But anyways, I could use an Art of War card. To draw two random cards from my deck or I can choose a card from my deck and add it to my hand and if we were playing with flying units I can do an evade but we're not doing that by the way see I added this little note here uh, if, if you you can remove the unfollows card and heal one divinity vitality so if you ever want to heal your god and you have an unfollows card in your hand you can remove it from the game and and heal that god one uh, one vitality. I also added to the to the uh, player aid here. You can only use these maneuvers each once per round per player. So I can do this on Julie's turn if I just want to get some cards uh, uh, or to evade. But again, we don't have any flying units, so we're not going to do that. So again, this was missing from the player aid. So going over the turn sequence again. I just drew a card. I can end my turn and draw another card. Or I can activate a unit and play a card from that. So I'm going to activate Zeus. And so this is a complex action. So when you activate a unit, you're either going to do to get uh, you do one, I mean zero, one or two simple actions or zero or one complex action. But Zeus isn't on the board yet. So I have to go here to the complex actions and to deploy a unit entering the game for the first time can be placed in a non-full deployment zone. So I have to you do a complex action to bring him into the game and then he will be done because you cannot activate a unit twice. In addition, how do you know if a, a, an area is full? Well, you'll see there's numbers. So this is a four. So you can have four units. A troop of three Spartans is considered one unit. These hoplites are considered one unit. And so I could have three units here with the pillar. Uh, three here with that one. This is four, four units here. So I'm going to play my Zeus card. Okay, oops. So I'm playing it goes into my discard pile and then I'm going to bring Zeus in. I can either put him in this deployment zone or with these Spartans. I'm going to put him here with the Spartans. So what's the, how many pieces can I have in here? I can have three. Okay. So being in the tree area, by the way, even though we've played this scenario a few times, no one's been able to use it yet. <laughs> it's considered an obstacle, so it blocks line of sight. Uh, out of anyways or through it. Uh, in other words, if you try, try to place line of sight through it to another unit it blocks line of sight. If you're in there you get plus one defense against a, a range plus one attack. So that means, give me your Aries. Sure. There you go. Uh, 
if Ares had a ranged attack, which he doesn't, if he was here, they would get plus one defense. Okay. If he's here and it was full with two other units, you can make a range zero attack uh, when the, the area is full. And they would not get their defense because he's not using a range plus one attack. Normally, because it's not full, he has to move in there to attack. And because it's a range zero attack, they don't get defense from the trees. Although that's different here with the pillars. With the pillars, say Zeus was here with the pillar. This simulates, you know, using the pillars in a in a hand to hand combat situation. Where is the pillar? I'm looking. Ru is it ruins? Yeah, one ruin column. That's why. Movement's allowed. It is an obstacle for tracing line of sight through it. Uh, it's a plus one defense against a range zero attack. So in other words, if you're being attacked in that space. Ares is attacking Zeus. This simulates uh, Zeus hiding, you know, using the pillar to help block. He would get plus one defense. Uh, and then, if we wanted to talk about the other obstacles here, since we're talking about that, let's talk about the. Uh, is it a boulder? Uh, a what's it called here? It's called a. A rock. It's a rock. <laughs> All right, so you can't move through it, but Achilles can climb it. Plus one range and plus one offense for those who are, are on the rock, if they were able to climb it, or maybe a flying creature, uh, for range plus one attacks. So in other words, it will give you a plus one range if you're standing on it, and therefore you'll get plus one offense. And then you ignore obstacles while you're on the rock. So give me Achilles, please. You got it. If Achilles uses his climbing action, does he have a range attack? Um, no. He normally would only be able to attack a range uh, zero people in his space, but because he's on the rock, he gets a range plus one, and because it gives him range plus one, he'll get plus one offense. He'll get an oh, I just knocked down a tree. <laughs> he'll get a, an additional die. Okay, so those are the only uh, obstacles, and this map is rocks, trees, and ruins are the columns. I call them pillars, columns, but they call them ruins. That so I works. guess it's a broken. Yeah, it's, it's a broken. broken thing, so it makes sense. Yep. All right, so I know I covered some stuff about the terrain. That's good, though. Uh, so I brought... Well, get Ares out of here. He's not in here yet. He will be. I brought in Zeus. So that was my first action. Instead of taking a second card, I took an activation. In order to activate, you have to have that card in your hand. So I took Zeus as an action. And because he was deployed... He does not get any of, the only power he gets is a permanent power. So if you look right here, when, when a unit takes a complex action, they cannot use their offensive powers, their active powers, or their passive powers. The only power they can use, which I put in purple here, is a permanent star icon. Let's see if he has any, because he was just brought in. Nope, he doesn't have any permanents, and because he was brought in uh, with a complex action. He's not going to do a mighty throw, leader, or block because he's done uh, activating. Once he's spent a complex action, his turn's done. Okay. Okay. Unless he had a permanent power, which he doesn't have any. All right. So now I have to decide if I want to activate a second unit, a different unit. I can't do Zeus again. I'm going to need to spend an Art of War card. And, and I only have three in my hand at start and in my deck. Because of Zeus, I have two more in here. If I get an Umphala and absorb it, I'll have an Umphala card, which can act as an Art of War card. But right now, if I want to spend an Art of War card, I can activate a different unit, okay. which is what I will do. Because right. this is a race game, basically, to get to Umphala. Right. So I'm going to spend this Art of War card. All right. And... Put Hydra in. Actually, no. I'm going to spend the maneuver first. Okay. Okay. So let me back up. I'm spending an Art of War card to do the maneuver. Search for a card. Okay. okay. Search it in my deck. I'm going to get You're upside Spartan. Down. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> now I shuffle my deck after I do that. Now I'm going to 
use another Art of War card. So I'm burning through my Art of War cards. That's necessarily, not necessarily a good thing to activate a second unit. I activate my Spartans. So, because it's my second activation, I had to use a Art of War card. They go here. Using a simple action, they're, they're walking. <laughs> walking! <laughs> Look, Dave, putting one foot in front of the other. All oh right, maybe some of you know what that is. Oh, my gosh. All right, so walk. Uh, I can do two simple actions, as you see here. Zero, one, or two. If I walk, I can attack. If I walk, I could also claim. I could also claim something and then walk. But what I can't do, I can't attack, then walk. I can attack and claim. So the only weird exception to this is if you attack, you can't walk afterwards. So I walked here. My first, I'll put it like this. <laughs> my first simple action. <laughs> and then I'm going to claim as my second simple action. So one of the strategies of this game is, is when a unit has a claim umfala, umphalos, Mm -hmm. You have to basically do have a character with the mighty throw talent. So that way, when we roll dice and we get a blank result, and if you have the mighty throw talent, you basically throw that, that unit and they drop the Umphala if they haven't absorbed it. So if a divinity has an Umphala so he hasn't absorbed it yet, you're basically going to have to do a mighty throw to make him drop it. Right. And same with a unit. So... Julie's going to want to try to get Ares in here as quick as possible. Does, is He's coming in now. Does Achilles have a mighty throw? Yes, he does. So you, she's got to get Achilles or Ares in there to basically run up, hopefully beat me up and get blank dice, <laughs> uh, push me away somewhere, and I drop the Umphalos. Right. All right. So they claimed it. Zeus is going to have to move there. And absorb it. That's going to take two turns, which I'll explain in a minute. Or they're going to have to move there, and then he absorbs it. So I'm basically two activations away from uh, Zeus absorbing it, or two turns away from Zeus moving there and then absorbing it. Because right. you can't combine simple actions with complex actions. Absorbing is a complex action. Right. All right. So this will go a lot faster after we explain some stuff. So I activated a another unit. Now I can end of turn phase. Now one thing that you can do, this is why I emphasize it here, I can discard an Art of War card to recall a unit of troops. But one thing that's not included on in the player aid, I could recall, if I spin an Art of War card, my Spartans to where Zeus is. Well, and you do this if they've been destroyed, or if they're down to, you know, or if you just want to get them back to you. Uh, but they'll drop the Umphalos. So this is an important rule to remember. You can't, oops, <laughs> you can't use a recall action to recall a troop that ran ahead or walked ahead to pick up an Umphalos, then have your divinity do a recall action to teleport them there, so to speak, with the Umphalos. That's one rule we played wrong. Oh. You, they will drop it if you do that, which is smart for them to put in the rules. Okay. Okay. So one thing I got to look up though, uh, real quick, when it's uh, your turn, do they? When you recall them, do they heal all the way? I think they do. Let me look up recall real quick. Okay. So in other words, if I was down to two Spartans and I recall them, I think I get that third Spartan back. I thought you did. They don't have to be destroyed entirely to get them back, but I want to make sure of that real quick okay and so i would add that to the uh to the sheet the sheet yeah uh nine and thirteen that actually is cross-listed pretty well sometimes you got to come up with synonyms mm. okay when a player recalls a troop again this happens at the end of the turn uh they choose a troop unit either in play or destroyed that they can't control all the miniatures of the unit in play or not are, oh, see, in play or not, are moved to the same area as your divinity. So that answered my question. There you go. So they don't have to be totally destroyed. I could be down to one, two or one Spartans and recall them. But the point is, what I'm pointing out, which some people might not play well, which we made a mistake on. Yes, they did. Because I remember the first game said, I'm going to recall my Spartans. Yeah. And then I got to Umphala there really quick. Heck, you did. <laughs> it was a quick game. 
<laughs> so it's little details like that. All right. My turn. Almost. <laughs> That's it. Yay! Yay! All right, I was a long first turn, but I went over a lot of the major rules. It's like a how to play already. Uh, yes. So let's go to what you have here. That's your deck. Yep. Do you want to use? Uh, I'm getting Aries in there. Okay, so you're gonna put them in right away. Yes. Well, first off, you gotta draw a card. Oh yeah. Oh, I got my oh, hoplites. Oh, you got your hoplites. So, hmm. what do you want I think I might move do? my hoplites. All right, so you're going to do your first activation of drawing hoplites. So, discard it uh, over up there. Which is up and do I have to do the Art of War card, too? No, because your okay. first activation is free. Okay. So, let's go to here. So, know. Julie's activated her... Oh, wait. Let me turn off the picture in picture. You're, you're taking a walk action. Yeah. Well, push right now. I'm pushing in and there. Well, yes, they're, they're walking. walking. They're walking. So... You cannot do another walk. There's I know. nobody to attack. I know. Uh, do you want... Uh, because... Do you have a range with your hoplites? Let me see their card. I don't know which one is range. It's the bow. Oh. So here's the hoplites. I have zero. They have a zero. However, if this troop can, ha, contains at least four hoplites, she has five. Yeah. She gets a plus one range. So you could... Beat you up. Attack, but then you will not claim oh. the Umphala. So you have a choice to make here. Because okay. your unit is has a four or, five, four or more. Yeah. You can attack my Spartans at a range of one, or you can claim the Umphalos. What do I'll you want claim to do? the Umphalos. All right, so you're done with your simple actions. Can I, get, can I still bring Ares in? Okay, well, let's take a look what you have here. I have Ares in the Art of War All right, parts. so to take your second activation, yeah. you're going to have to pl uh, play an Art of War card. Okay. And then you're going to play your Ares. Okay. And now you're going to deploy him, which is a complex action, and you're going to deploy him in either this zone or this well, zone. Well, here, so he can they can bring him there. Well, or he can go there and... Right, but he's right there. This whole area is there. Oh, okay. okay. Let me see your card. Which, this thing? This big yes. thing? Okay. okay. So let's see if he has any permanent abilities. I don't know. Nope. He only has uh, active abilities. So... He cannot do anything else on his turn. Oh, okay. All right, so. And that's my whole turn now, right? Basically, that's your turn, unless you okay. really wanted to recall them and have them drop that, or if you wanted to do a maneuver no. and spin an Art of War card I'm to good. get more cards. I think I'm good right now. Okay, so that's Julie's turn. Now it's back to my turn. So now this is going to go a lot quicker. Yeah. I hope. All right, I got another Art of War card. Okay. And I have my Hydra. So that means I'm going to have to do maneuver to try to to get a card that I don't have for Zeus or the Spartans. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a maneuver. All right. Search my deck for... What are you looking for? For the Spartans. Okay, I got the Spartans. Okay. Shuffle my deck again. So now you're going to move I'm going to, to play Zeus. the Spartans. Uh, unfortunately, I can't attack you because I could no because I, I almost screwed up. Even if I could attack them, they got a range of zero. I can't attack then walk. Oh. Okay. Now because they are going to move to where Zeus, Zeus is. is, I could take a complex run action and add one to my movement. They only move one space. Mm. But there's no point. I don't need to. Yeah. So. They're going to take a simple action, move here with the Umphalos. Okay. They're there. There's nothing else they can't do because there's not, they can only claim one Umphalos. There's not even one Umphalos there. They can't attack anything, and they can't walk again. Can he absorb that, though? Uh, if I activate him. Oh. Uh, they have a Mighty Throw talent and guard, which isn't going to help them because there's, there's no attacking going on. Okay. Uh, we'll explain those talents when they occur. So he is done. Now, here's the sad thing. For you. <laughs> For me, I don't have Zeus, okay? I can't do, remember, I can only do the same maneuver once. Oh. Okay? So I could, I, I can't search my deck for Zeus. Okay. Because I've already done that maneuver. I've already done the search for a card. However... Uh-oh. If I want to spend my another Art of War card, which I will, I'm going to draw two cards and hope I draw a Zeus. Okay. Okay? Yep. I should. Well, spin your card. Don't forget to. Spin my card. 
Well, why, did I, why should I even bother, though? I don't know. Do you know why I shouldn't bother? Why shouldn't you bother? Because it's my turn now. Because even if I draw Zeus... You can't do anything anyway. I would have to get another Art of War card to play him. And so I would have to draw a Zeus and an Art of War card to be able to activate him. Oh. So I'm not going to waste my Art of War card to hope I draw it. But let's see if I would have. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if I... And I'll just shuffle my deck. So let's say if I did do that, right? Okay. What I drew... Nope, I would have screwed myself. Ha <laughs> ha. So it's Should good. That, it's it, good right? I didn't do it. All right. So I did an, uh, an activation. Moved uh, my Spartans. Right. I'm not going to spend an a another activation to bring in a hy my Hydra. Nope. I mean, I could, but I want to save the activation for later. So I'm going to end my turn. So now <sighs> it's Julie's turn. Finally, oh, wait. Jeez. And Julie gets to draw a card. I have Achilles. Okay. So what do you want to do? Um, hmm. Why not? I'll put Achilles in. Okay. And so I'll take Brad Pitt, and I will put Brad Pitt right there. Okay, so there. Brad Pitt's been yes. brought in. He's been deployed. Yes, he has. Let me see his card, his okay. card please, to see if he has any permanent abilities. Be gentle with Brad. All right, he does have a permanent ability. Okay. Achilles ignores the first wound caused by each attack. So it doesn't matter because he did, he's not attacked. Yeah. But it's good to know that for later. Yep. He cannot use this power because he was deployed and that's a complex action. Okay. All right. So now you have a choice. Yeah. Uh, Julie, you have. Uh, oh, here, uh, switch it. Maybe fix it up. I also got the board here. Uh, you have Achilles here. You have Ares here, and you have these hoplites with. Well, I'm going to move Ares into the hoplite so he can absorb that. Thing. Ah, you think you can do that. So here's the thing. You can definitely move Ares into there. Okay. But that's a simple action. Yeah. You cannot do a simple action and a complex action. Absorbing is a complex action. So what you should have done is move your hoplites to where Ares is and then activate Ares to do a complex action to absorb the Oh. Yeah. Right. That's okay. It's well, good I'm for people then. to see. Uh, well, you could still uh, move Ares if you want. To where the hoplites are, All or in right. fact, what is Ares' move? What's his movement? Which one's it? The foot. The foot. Uh, two. You could. Okay, so here you go. Consider this action. You move Ares. Yeah. Two spaces, to cl to claim this Umphala. Oh, I didn't see that soon. one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, but you got to spend uh, an Art of War card to activate to activate him. Because do I? Your, because he's your second unit. Do I have to give this card up too? Yes. Oh, okay. You're spending the Art of War card. So again, you're spending the Art of War card to take a second activation, and then you still have to spend the card for the unit that you're activating. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, again, this is a review. Three. All right. So let's wait to show on the board. So I move him there, and okay. then I get that. Well, you claim it. You can absorb it. So she moved in. Yeah. She took a simple action to move. She gets to move two spaces because of her god uh, can move faster. Yeah. And then she claimed it, so she's done. Okay. Now, that's the end of your turn. Yeah. You could still spend an Art of War card if you want to no. recall troops no. or to draw cards. No, I'm good. Okay. So Thank you, though. I'm good. I'm going to be type A about this. Oh, let's see if he has... Oh, he has other powers here. Hang on. Because he did not take a complex action. Uh, at the end of Ares' activation, make an X dice area attack on this area. Well, first off, you're not going to do that because there's no one in your area. Right. You can do Frenzy. Now, this is a good one for Ares. At the end of Ares activation, discard one Ares activation card for him to make a walk optional and then attack optional. So she could walk and attack again oh. uh, if you had done it already. Yeah. These uh, actions count as simple actions for the current activation. But the point is... I'm not doing any of that. Hang on, I'm just rereading it, re -reading it again. A walk... Huh. So does that mean could you do a complex action and still do those? So this is where I would want to look up the interpretation. Because the second paragraph or sentence here says these actions count as a simple actions for the current activation. So if you've already spent two simple actions, you probably can't spend two more. Yeah. However, if you spent a complex action, could you do those two simple actions? Again, I would want to look up how that interprets. What we're going to do, 
Somebody can tell me down below. We're just going to say that if you do spend the other activation, you can still do two more simple actions, even if you had already done some before. Okay. So here, you, you, need, to, you need to think about this now. If you really want to uh, spend this other activation, yeah. you can move him away so I don't try to do a mighty blow on you. All right, well. A mighty throw. I move me, can I move to where those guys are? Or no, I want to move to the tree. Can I move to the tree? Oh, yeah, if you want to hide there yeah. and get the defense. All right, so you're going to move him here. Yeah. Uh, so you moved. Do I have to sp I spin this card again, this Aries card? Yes, you spend that Aries card. And this one too? No. Okay. Because of his power, yeah. he was able basically to take, uh, he was able to take another walk. Okay. Now there's nothing to attack, so you're okay. But I only have one card left. Well, that's, that's how this game is. You're managing your cards to get the things done uh, that you want to do. All right. All right, so hopefully Fun we're playing that. Aries right. Uh, if we're not, let us know in the comments, Yeah, let us know please. down below. I mean, that's the thing. Because we want to play this correctly for you guys. Right, but that's how we're playing it now. Yep. Okay. All right, so here I go. Let's take a look what's going on in the field. I have my own father here. I need to get a Zeus card so I can absorb that. So let's see if I draw one. I okay. should because I've been drawing everything else. Uh -oh. I got a Spartan. That's not what I want. That's not what you want. Okay, so I'm going to play a... Art of War okay. as a maneuver to get draw two, two more cards. There you go. Okay. Nice job. So now for my first activation, I'm going to play Zeus. Okay. And you'll see here that it's a, you, you can, you can, basically if you're in the same space with an allied unit that has an umphalos, you can uh, absorb, it. absorb it. So that's a complex action. He adds it to his dashboard and then he gets an umphalos card to add to his hand, which is like an Art of War card. Nice. Now, he doesn't have any permanent abilities, so he is basically... Done. He's basically done. But I can spend that in Follows as an Art of War card, which is what I will do. Uh, I'm going to spend the Unfalos. Okay. Cannot activate Zeus again. You only activate a unit once per turn, except for Ares, because he has that power. So I'm going to bring in my Hydra. Oh, jeepers. Okay. I do not like bring that my thing. Hydra. Hydra can go into this zone. He can even fit here if I really want him to because there's, it has a capacity of three. But for the sake of... Put well, no. him in that other one. Keep, keep him away from me for a while. I don't no, want I'm him. going there. Doggone it. So the trees get pushed aside when he <laughs> comes in. So all three of them are having a party. Yeah. Okay. They're a rowdy bunch, man. All right. So I'm done. Finally, jeez. Okay, draw your card. My turn. Okay, you can activate Achilles, but you didn't get what you wanted. I'm going to use that card like what you did and okay. draw two cards. Or you can use it to draw, to get an Ares card and get one card out of your deck. Then do what again? Okay, you play this. Yeah. And you can get search for a card and you say, I want Ares. Okay, I want Ares. Well, you look for it. I did. Okay, so you put it, add it to your thing. And you're going to shuffle up your deck. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to do what with Aries? I'm going to have him get that own follow. All right, then play your Aries card. Okay. So now we go to the board here. Aries is being a chicken and hiding out here. Shush up. You absorb it. Yes. Add it to your dashboard. Okay. You get an own follows. And now I want to use it to get two more cards. Uh, uh, yeah, you can, or you can activate Achilles. What do you want? Oh, uh, what do you well, want? Well, I think I'm going to activate Achilles, and I'm going to put him up there so he can protect. Or no, I'll move him to where the uh, what do they call it? In the hoplites are. Okay, and he can claim the yeah the thing if he wants. So I put both cards up in my discard pile. Yeah, you're going to have to play the Amphula Amphalos as a Art of War card. Okay. He can claim it for the hoplites. Okay. Because he's stronger. So he can absorb it too? No. Oh. But it's probably better for him to carry it than your hoplites. Your hoplites are, are going to be pushed around a lot easier. Well, yeah, and Brad Pitt's, you know, he can kick butt. Yeah, I know. Uh, bees have hives. Uh, what was I going to look up here? Now oh, my throw. turn is done, right? Yeah, I just want to look up Mighty okay. Throw. It cost only one to throw a troop or a hero. So we'll see if I'm able to get that on a Mighty Throw. Okay. All right, okay. so I go to my turn. I draw my card. Got another Hydra. Oh, man. Now, Hydra does not have... Oh, he does have Mighty Throw. Good. All right. So I'm going to activate my Hydra. 
And then uh, the Hydra, oh, let me go back to you so you guys can see the stats. The Hydra can move one. It's hard to see for me at this angle. Move one. It has a mighty throw. And he has a range of one. All right, so the Hydra is going to move. But you don't have an Art of War card to move him. I don't need to. I activated him, honey. Oh, The okay. first activation is you just play the card that you want to activate. Okay. To activate a second unit, you've got to play an Art of War card. Oh, So okay. I moved here. Yeah. Okay, I can attack the Hoplites or, or Achilles. But because Achilles has a mighty throw, I'm going to attack him. Mm -hmm. So finally, we're going to get into some combat here. If I was doing a in the same space, I can use my Torment ability if I was able to get there. Torment is target unit suffers minus one defense against range zero attack. But because I'm doing a ranged attack, I can't use Torment. But I still, can I get Mighty Throw with a ranged attack? Uh, let me look on the thing here. A unit can use their dice with blank results. Huh. I bet you, now this is where I, I should have added that to the player aid. So this is why I add things to the player aid. I think Mighty Throw is a range, you can only use it for range zero. So I may change my movement if I can't do what I want to do. Hmm. Uh, I don't think you need to throw me. I'm fine right where I am. I'm good. Hmm. Doesn't say any. It doesn't say it has to be a ranged attack. Well, that's good then, right? I'm just looking here. Because then you can get. Because okay, I want to show me. you what it says exactly. Okay, after having rolled the dice to resolve the first assault of a normal or area attack. Okay, so is the keyword normal? Hmm. And before, okay, so let me look up what a normal attack is. So when you're playing games like this, every keyword matters. Does it define normal attack? There's not even an N there. It just goes from M to O. Let's see if it says attack. Oh. Normal attack, page 14. <laughs> so I would want to add this to the, to the player aid. Right. Uh, there are two types of attacks, normal attack and area attack. Normal attack. A unit carrying out this action resolves the steps as target choice, attack resolution, retaliation. Okay, the unit is both visible and at a distance that is less than or equal to the attacker's range. A unit can always target an enemy unit in the same area, range zero. A target is in range, okay, so it makes you wonder if they really meant to do that, if I'm reading this correctly. I don't know, baby. Now, the reason why the Hydra is able to attack from one d distance away, because it's, now you can justify this because it's, it's so long. It's a, such a big creature, it can stretch out and attack you. Sure, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? Even though I went through all that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move Zeus instead. <laughs> But no, it's good to go through that because no, you're right. because it's the option. The reason why I'm going to move Zeus instead because Zeus can move too. Yeah, boy. So he's going to move into here. So that way, after he attacks, if he does a mighty throw on Achilles, he can claim the uh, the Amphalos. That makes more sense. Yeah. All right. So that's why it's a better move. All right. So I look at my dashboard here, and he has an attack of eight. He's at full vitality. So, and can he, he's not, he can't do his lightning because he doesn't have two Art of War cards. At the end of his turn, though, he can sw discard cards to get different cards, but I'm not worried about that now. So he has Mighty Throw, Leader, and Block. 
Uh, blocking prevents people moving through your area. In leader, if I look up that talent again, again, I just want to go over all my options here. Leader is active player takes an activation card from their deck of a visible friendly troop unit. So if I could just see them in their surroundings. Okay, so this is the key word surroundings. For him to use his leader ability, there would have to be someone adjacent to him mm. that's an allied, and there isn't, because the hoplites and the hydra are two spaces away. Right. So he can't use his leader ability, and if he were to do that, though, he would be able to take their activation card, and then after he's done with his activation, he can activate that unit immediately without having to spend an Art of War card. Okay, so, but the point is, I just wanted to go over his options. That's good. So he moved there yep. with two. He's going to roll eight dice. What is Achilles' defense? Um, that's the shield-looking thing. Uh, it's a nine. Okay, so i gotta get, I got to get fives. So here's the oh. most complex part of the game. Yes. This is where I help Julie with this. And I would have to help out other people, too, not just Julie. All right, so I'm going to roll. I'm going to hope, well, I do want to get... One blank, at least, so I can do a mighty throw on him. No blanks. Okay. Woo, I got my wish. <laughs> See? <laughs> that wasn't good. So I'm going to damage Achilles, but he's going to still hold on to the Amphalas, which sucks. No, it's good for okay. me. <laughs> All right. Now remember, he has a permanent ability where the first wound doesn't even count, so That's i got to right. try to get two wounds. <sighs> All right, so here's a five. <laughs> I'm going to make this 5 a 4, so I'm going to add plus 1 by spinning that die. I'm going to make this 4 a 5 by spinning this die. Now, I could use any of these dice, but I want to keep my higher dice. Okay, and then I'm going to spin this die to make that a 5. And now I have this die to use as a plus 1 for the second assault. So I have four fives, and I have to get... Uh... Well, you know what you forgot to do? I'm sure there's a lot I forgot to do. I'm going to... Just tell the audience this. Does the hoplites have guard? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so what Julie could have done with the hoplites, let me show the card. Give it to me. As you see here, if she wanted to make sure Achilles didn't get thrown, the hoplites could have stepped in with their guard and taken Zeus's damage. And you would have held on to the Amphalos no matter what. Oh. Okay. But, as it turned out, I didn't roll any blanks. Okay, so she got lucky. Thank you. All right, so now I'm doing my second assault with my four fives. Okay. So I need to get fours or fives now to hit her because five plus four would be nine, or five plus five would be ten. And I do have one die here to add in as a plus one. So here I go. And I rolled really crappy. Real good for so me. So the blank on the second assault, so it's important to know this, you can only do for, uh, mighty throw on the first assault. So there's no little rule to remember there. So I did hit once. But I, get I can it. wait. I can use. No, you don't get thrown because it's only on the first assault. No, but assault. I can block the first assault. Yeah, but hang on. So I'm going to add these dice in to add plus one. Six, seven, eight. Not enough to overcome nine. So I hit you once, but because Achilles absorbs the first wound, basically I wasted my time. Because Brad Pitt's a. Yeah, well, Brad Pitt. Bad. Yeah. That's okay. I, I shouldn't care. say the second word, but I'll you know what I I'll mean. I'll cry later. <laughs> All right, so that was my first activation. <laughs> I have these cards, but no Art of War cards, so I cannot do a second activation because I do not have another Art of War card. All right, so, so you're done. I, can, uh, I could use my leader ability, which I will do for Zeus. At the end of Zeus's activation, you can choose to send up to three cards from your hand to your deck. In this case, reshuffle your deck. So I'm going to get rid of two, it says up two, and replace them. So I'm going to get rid of these two hydras. I'm probably going to draw them again, watch. <laughs> With your luck, you probably will. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow, wonderful. Wow, look at that. Oh, but I did get a Zeus for later. I think I'm out of order of war cards. I think you are too. You can now you, you get, The rules say, says that you can check. So I have one, two, three, four... Oh, there's one in the deck still. Okay, so I have five. that's good. All right, I'm done. Fine. Sorry about that. It took a long time. Uh, <sighs> it's interesting, though, that it doesn't say that Mighty Throw, uh, it, 
It just says a normal attack, and yeah. range are considered range attacks. Yeah. So I, they probably don't assign mighty throw to characters that have ranged attacks. Maybe. But the Hydra does have it because it's a big creature and it can reach out right. and grab you. So that's that's probably why it's Makes okay. sense. All right. My so, turn finally? Yes, your turn. All right, you have Ares. So uh, let's see if the spot is filled before you decide what to do. Okay. You have... Where is the little number here? A three. Oh, it's filled. That's not necessarily bad. Because when, it's, when an area is filled, you can do a range zero attack uh, from an adjacent spot. Well, then I'm going to attack you. Uh, uh, well, yeah, or, but consider this. You're going to win the, oops, you're going to win the game if you get your second and follows. Right. But I have nothing, I can't draw anything. Yeah, you can't do anything. Nope. I mean, you, I guess the best case you could do is you spend your Aries card and try to push me out. Yeah, I'll mighty throw or, you. Or you don't do it at all, and you hope that uh, I don't do card. anything, and you save it, and you draw a second card. I'll just do that. It's your turn. Okay, so you're going to draw a second card? No, you're not doing Oh, yeah, you're not doing anything? Yeah, so if you don't take an activation, that's right, I get you draw, to a, draw second a second card. card. So you're done. I'm done. No, that's good for you for yes. next round. All right, so I do mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I draw a card. I got another Hydra. So, hmm. I'm going to activate Zeus again. Alrighty. It's too bad I don't have, I can't do my lightning strike and hit everybody in the area here. Well, I'm going to do my hoplites this time and protect. Yeah, so that's good. So I activate Zeus and, oh, I have, I don't have guard. Cause I do. If it says, here's the, I'm going to show you the rules here real quick. If both players have, is it with both players have guard? See here. Oh, guard cannot be used against retaliation or against terrain effects. All right, you know what we forgot to do, boys and girls? When I attacked Achilles, Achilles could do retaliation. So, you get to attack me. Okay. So let me show you Achilles' card. And we forget these little details sometimes. So Achilles, uh, in fact, he was supposed to get initiative first. You're supposed to point this out to me. Like I'm supposed to know that stuff. Well, you've, that's okay. You've played it three times. And I remember everything. It's all right. It's all right. So, all right. So what I did, what we did wrong is, even before Zeus was able to roll the dice, Achilles has initiative. He gets to attack first, do his retaliation first. And so he might even be able to throw me before I even did anything. Because he has mighty throw as well. Well, you didn't hurt me, so it doesn't matter. So, well, well, we know it's not going to matter. Yeah. But if we really were supposed to do it in order, that's the way we should do it. Achilles has a seven attack. Okay. Okay. Yep. So we're going to roll it on your camera. Four, seven. I'm going to roll it. So we're going and. All right. So as it turns out. You did not get enough blanks. You need two blanks right, to throw, to throw me. So that didn't, that's not going to change that outcome. You have a five, mm -hmm. another five, yep. three fives. So for you, uh, because my defense is nine, you can make this three another five, or you can keep these to add in to when you roll these a second time. What do you want to do? Well, if I make that a five, that's 20 then. No, because you roll each die again, and you got to get a nine. You're going to be having to get fours and fives again. Or, so you could either make another five uh -huh. and roll all four again. Okay. Uh huh. See, here's my fingers. Yep. Or you can keep them at as plus ones and just roll those three dice. Um. I'll do the second thing. Yeah, roll the three dice. Yeah. Okay. You're going to keep these off to the side. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> You got so lucky. <laughs> All right, so you got a 5 plus 5 is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. You hit me twice. 5 plus 3 is 8. Yeah. You added one of these dice, yeah. making it a 9. Yeah. Hit me three times. You didn't need to use these as plus ones because you hit with those. So you just wounded Zeus three times. So All I right. slide it down. Oh, by the way, you saw the unboxing. This is how the rubber things go on. So I go 1, 2, 3. So Achilles kicked my butt. Boof. So, which means then, because his attack went first, I, was, I should have only rolled seven dice. And I rolled eight. So, I should have had one last die. I feel like going back in time. <laughs> so, you got to remember to do the retaliation. We, 
Oh. We forget that sometimes. And we got to remember, if you have the initiative talent, that you go before the attacker. Aries goes. has initiative too, I just read. Yeah, you got some really nice abilities. So Thank Aries you. is going to get that too. All right, so that was my turn now. <laughs> Reminding you what we just did. Uh, she decided not to... Well, you drew Aries. Yes. Decided not to activate him. Yes. You took a second action. Yes. And drew an Art of War card. Yes. All right, your turn's done. Okay. Phew. Back to my turn. <laughs> now we'll remember those talents, won't you? They sure. Both, they both have both initiative. Both have initiative. I go okay. first both times. Now, and, and they both have Mighty Throw, don't they? Yes. And block. Aries has block and Achilles has climb. Okay. So Aries can prevent me from moving, running through. That's what block does. Once... If you're in a space with someone with block, you can't move out of or move through it. Right. Okay, so let's take a look at what I have. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I didn't draw a card yet, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I did. I drew the Spartans. Oh, yeah. So I guess I'm just going to move the Hydra. Okay. Okay, I play the Hydra. Yep. And then I go to the board here. We'll go right here. Oh, she just got knocked over. He gets his plus range attack. He's going to target Achilles. Now, here's a problem. But I'm going to block that. Well, you're not going to block it. You're going to do initiative. Oh, okay, I'm going to do initiative. So this is going to suck because if Achilles gets only one blank, he's going to throw the Hydra, and then I won't get an attack. That's probably what she's going to get. Nine. Okay, I'm going to roll my, <laughs> I'm going to roll my nine dice. You sure you, nah, you don't get nine with Achilles. Wait, isn't that the, the, the shield? Do you get nine? I don't know which one I'm supposed to look at. The shield is your defense. Oh, okay. Okay, you I did you it wrong. You look at the sword, you get seven. Oh, okay. Okay, you get seven right there. All right, so I'm going to put this down. All right, so I would have cheated. I'm sorry. I didn't. It's all right. I got confused. So, again, hang on. For those who have been sticking around here, this is probably not a great move for me because if she gets a blank, she's going to throw the Hydra, and then I will not be able to attack. Okay, but I'm going to risk it. Okay. There's one five. All right, so you did not get any blanks. No. All right, but you only need to hit me with a seven. So a five. Okay, it would be nice if you put it a little closer to me. Oh, here, I can do that. <laughs> Sorry, love. No, in the camera. Oh. Close to me. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Here's your five. Uh, you can make this a five. What was that? A, a four. four. Okay. Yeah, plus make add plus one to that. Make that a five. So okay. Make that a five. All right. Do you want to make this a five? Yes. Okay. So you use that plus one. You're going to yeah. make this dice as a plus one. Make that a five. Yes. Because you only need to get sevens, it's worth rolling those. You only need ones. You only need twos, threes, fours, and fives. So it's a good chance you're going to hit me two or three times. Three, five, one, and two. Okay, the one misses. Okay. You could use that one to add to another die, but five plus two is seven, five plus three is eight, five plus five is ten. You say you did roll two ones? Yeah. You could have made that other one a two. Oh. And just not use that die. Okay. But you hit three times. Okay. And what sucks for me now, because I'm going to drop down before I attack, I go to a to, oh, I still have seven attack, but my defense is now, I guess for my onslaught, it's not going to be as good. Now, at the end of my turn, though, I'm going to regain a vitality. Because there's no difference in the dice, I'm going to do it now in case I forget. Okay, so I roll seven dice. So, you did hit me three times. At the end of the round, I'll get one wound back. I'll heal one wound. So I get seven dice. Now, look, I wouldn't do that out of order if it changed how many dice I roll. What's the defense of Achilles? That's the shield one. Yes. Nine. All right. So I want to get throws here. I want to get blanks. No blanks. I did. Ah, oh, poo. Awesome. I think this was a three. I don't know. Uh, all right. So let's show on the board here. I throw Achilles. I'm going to throw him right here. Mm -hmm. He drops him and follows. Okay? Yeah. i still going to wound him, though. Yeah. So... Hit. I'm going to take these fives. The blanks go away. But I, I did a mighty throw. And I'll save these as plus, plus okay. twos. I need to add as plus ones. So I need nines. I need to get fours and fives. Okay, hit you once. The blank is nothing. This would be a 
an eight, add in one die a nine, so you absorb the first hit. Yep. I hit you once. Okay. So it's really hard to damage Achilles. But I got lucky and had her drop the Unfalos in that space. Here's the sad thing, though. That was my first activation. I can't activate uh, Zeus to go pick it up. So here's Zeus sitting here going, oh, wow, there's an Unfalos. I should activate and claim him. But I have no Art of War cards or Zeus card to do that. So, unfortunately, I mean, I could activate the Spartans and do a run action. Uh, so if I activate the Spartans, I can take a complex action and run into there. But if I take a run action, it's a complex action. I can't claim it. I can't activate the Hydra again. So I'm pretty much not going to be able to do anything because I don't have the right cards, which sucks. Now it's my turn. Okay. Julie's turn. Yay. See how many cards you have left there. You have... I have let, let me move this over a little bit. I only have two to, in my hand. Be careful of shaking the tail. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm going to draw my card. And I have Achilles. All right. So the nice Ares. thing is you can run in there with Ares uh, and claim that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And in fact, you can run in there. I'm going to not run. It. Walk. Do yes. a simple action walk. Simple action claim. Yep. And if you had another Ares activation card. <laughs> well, what I want to do that. is use my. Hang on. If you oh. had another Ares activation card, you could attack because of his ability. Okay. Well, couldn't I use that, draw two more cards, and see if I could absorb it? No, because oh. that's a good question. You can only activate a unit once per round. You just activated oh. Ares, and he walked and claimed it. Ares does have the power where if you spent another Ares activation, he could walk and attack, but you can't do a complex action. You can't absorb. Oh. Okay. So, yes, could you play that Art of War card and activate Achilles? I don't know if you want to. I don't want to. I mean, maybe you want to save it for next turn. Yeah, I'm All good. Right, so I'm you're done. done. My turns are so much faster than yours. Well, I'm, cl I'm explaining everything. No, what I'm just saying okay. is mine are just quick, okay. quick, quick. Art of War card. All right, so when you get to a spot when you have to shuffle, I'm going to draw two cards. So now I'm going to shuffle my deck. Now this is what happens when one player finishes your deck before uh, another. So Julie, oh, you still have plenty of cards mm -hmm. left. So you will add all the cards to your hand because I burn through my deck a lot quicker than you. So here's the disadvantage of me burning through my deck. You get to add all these cards to your hand. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at me. And then Go she's going to shuffle her deck. And if she didn't have, if Julia didn't have three cards, she has more than three now, she would have added up to three. I mean, added to three. Oh. So the problem with one player burning through their deck quickly like I did, she just got all those cards added to her hand. Yay. So. Do I get to do more? No. Oh. I just want to bomb. So I, again, why is we shuffling decks like this? Because I played an Art of War card to draw two cards randomly. Hopefully, I get a Zeus card. Now, I could search my deck for a Zeus card, but I want to draw two random ones. Well. That didn't work out for you very well, did it? <sighs> okay, I do the Hydra. <laughs> okay, the Hydra, and where you're at, uh, give me the talents of... Aries. Right what are the ta oh, mighty throw, initiative, and block. Oh. So that means I get to go you first. You get to attack me first, and you'll probably throw me. And I get eight swords. So that means I get eight dice. Well, I'm going to try it. So here's, I need All more right. dice, So, please. again, here I am trying to go after Aries. Aries has initiative just like Achilles. She's going to get to attack me first. And if she gets one blank result, she's going to throw my Hydra. You and betcha. And I won't be able to get to attack. Mm -hmm. But i got to try to prevent her from getting the one follows. More dice, please. Oh, how many more do you need? Uh, let's see. Eight, one, two, three, four, five. Three more, please. Okay, so here we go. All right. Come so on, blanks. I'm probably going to get thrown. Come on, blanks. Woohoo! I got two blanks. Uh, All right, so probably not the best move for me. Where do you want to throw me? You can throw me far away. Where Achilles is? Heck no. You can push me. Oh, but wait. What? I want you far, far away. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't want you with the killer. You want to throw me right back here? Yes. Okay. So then you still do your, your damage to me. Okay. So let's see. You The blanks go away. Okay, blanks go you away. You threw me. Yep. You got a five. I have two fives. Okay, so you got two fives. Yep. You, can, you want to make this a five? Sure. Okay. Do you want to make this four or five? This Because you just need one die to add yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now this is what you need to hit me though. You need... Uh, I'm down to seven defense, so if you get twos or higher, you're going to hit me every time. Do, so what do I roll? Oh, these you're guys. All four. And whatever you roll, you add one to each five. I okay, have five, four, one, two. All right, so you hit me, hit me, hit me. This is a six. You can't do anything about it because you have no other dice to add in. Okay. But you did hit me three times. Nice. All right, so I slide down three. Uh, but I'm only going to slide down two because at the end of my turn, I heal one. So is, that was the Hydra I was beating up on? Yeah, because you got an issue. Okay. That's, what it, yeah. that's what sucks about your character. It's hard it doesn't to, suck to, for me. It's it hard to go you. after you. I know. And I don't have Zeus. I could search for Zeus, but then I'd get Zeus, but I don't have another Art of War card to activate Zeus. So I wouldn't bother. So here's the problem. If, if Julie draws an Art of War card or a uh, Zeus? Ares, she's going to win. My Spartans... They, they can't, even if they, well, the area is full. I can try, that's my only choice. But then they're going to, it sucks. All right. I, I have to go for it. I'm going to use my Art of War card. Activate my Spartans. My Spartans uh, move one space. And because the area is full, they can make a range zero attack. Otherwise, they would have to be in the same but who space. who are you going to attack? I got to attack areas. I got to try But he to make, has initiative. I know. I, what am I going to do? So I'm going to beat you up again. I know. All right, good. This is the only Two, thing I can do four, to try to make you drop the and follow us. Eight. All right, well, yeah, good luck. Yeah, and I only have a defense of six. <laughs> ah. Five, five, five. Okay. All right, so she didn't throw me, okay? But she's probably going to kill all my guys. Because they only have a defense of six. So, <laughs> there's the fives. Yep. You want to make another one of, well, I, all you have to do is do this. That becomes a six. Okay. Becomes a six. Okay. Becomes a six. You're dead. Uh, that's three. You basically took out all three of my guys. I love it. All right. They're destroyed. Yay. Now, I can bring them back with recall because they're troops. So, the thing to remember is that if Zeus was able to activate them, well, actually, I didn't have to activate them. At the end of my turn, if I had an Art of War card, I could recall those troops to where Zeus is. Unfortunately, I don't have an Art of War card, and you cannot recall into a space where you're full. <laughs> okay. Well, then you're done. So, it's if Julie draws turn. an Art of War card or... Uh, oh, you already have an Art of War card. So, so, you, so you drew your card. Yeah. You play your Art of War card. Yeah. To search for Ares. Oh, he's right here. Okay. You got Aries. And then I spin and then him. And you spin Aries. And I absorb. You activate it, and absorb I'm, it. I won. Yep. Add it to your thing. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Can you help me, please? Yeah. Thank you. So add it to your dashboard. All right. Uh, so, Julie won. <laughs> In this introductory scenario, you need to get two Imphalos to win. In the normal scenarios, you need to get four. But we're only playing with three Imphalos in this introductory scenario. If, as I mentioned in the beginning, I don't know if the getting started is included now in the core box for the 1.5. And if mm -hmm. it is included, it is it a little different. Uh, and remember, in the 1.5 uh, core box, you don't get these crappy little rocks anymore. Mm. But we included it for those who have the 1.0. Okay. So in my opinion, having played this scenario now four times, I think Julie has a better army. Because when you have initiative, or I need to play my army differently and do area attacks because Zeus could do the lightning attack here. I could have did a lot of damage from far away, but I need two activations to range three. So maybe for me, I just need to just do a lot of range attacks and hit her from a distance and try to kill Ares that way and don't engage in a, uh, in a situation where she's going to get initiative and be able to do a mighty throw. So anyways. Good luck. That was fun. That was fun. Not just because so, I won, but I, it was fun. I like it. And thank you for your help with the dice. I yeah. appreciate it. Well, you're getting better at it. 
And uh, like I said, hopefully we're playing Aries right. Mighty Throw is looks like we're playing it right as well. Mm -hmm. And again, I added some things to this player's aid, and I, without uh, Mythic Games permission, I can't give this out because right. I'm using their material. Uh, I can use it for de demonstration purposes. And that's it. But anyway, so that's... Uh, Whew. Oh, so we should mention, if you're still sticking around, we are going to do the campaign, the cooperative campaign from the, uh, the book, where Julie and I will play together and play all six scenarios. And then uh, we're going to do a review for the introductory scenario here of the game, but then we're going to do another review when we play the six uh, scenarios for the but campaign. But after we've done all six. Right, after we've done all okay. six. Because right now we're playing a competitive version. We're going to try the cooperative version. I look forward to that. So, uh, again, we want to. We're getting into this game because we know that they're coming out with the uh, the Asgardian one, not the Asgardian one, the uh, Viking one, which is Asgard. Asgard. Ooh, yeah. Thor. <gasps> I don't think they call it Ask. <sighs> I think Asgardian might be Marvel, so it's Viking. Oh, okay. But it's the same mythology. I don't well, know. Well, if Odin's in it, I have to be Odin. No, I think it is because I think it is Asgard in the Viking mythology too. I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is. <laughs> That's why we want to play this get, play this game, because you're coming out with more stuff. Yeah. All right, so I'm David, and this is RP Gamepire. I'm Julie. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. And if you liked it, please put a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Now have a good day. See you later. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.